Welcome to the first episode where I'll give you a brief introduction to who I am, followed by discussing what the industry is like for analysts, the IT industry specifically, and the kind of pay and salary you could hope to expect. Now remember that if you want to properly enroll in this course and get access to the data sets and do the assignments, be sure to enroll on my website. The link can be found in the description below. Enjoy. <music> Welcome to the course. My name is Jed Guinto, and I'm so excited for you to be joining me in this journey. And I'm going to be your coach, your guide, your support, your um, shoulder to cry on, whatever you need and everything kind of in between. And really, before we get really deep into the data and all the really cool, fun stuff with Tableau is let's cover a few of the topics of kind of what brought you here, who I am. We'll talk about the industry a little bit. We'll talk about salaries and job opportunities and those kinds of things. All right, so the first topic is really who I am and why you should even listen to me. Okay, so about five or six years ago, I did a massive career shift. I was, uh, I had spent about from age 17 or 18, I was just doing engineering for about 10 years or so. And I devoted everything. I put everything into engineering. I was doing aerospace engineering and I, you know, got my diploma. I did my degree. I was at one point doing my PhD. Um, I was working in the industry for a little while. And by the end of it, I said, I really just don't enjoy this. Like my heart just wasn't in it. And basically by the time I was like 27, uh, I had no qualifications for anything else. I was jobless. Um, I wasn't qualified. And so now I'm like, what do I do? I still got to pay rent. I got to pay bills. And what I had at the end of that was some basic to intermediate Excel skills. That's really all I had. Uh, looking at it today, I would have barely even made it as an entry level analyst, right? So that's kind of where I was. But I had to pay bills. So, you know, you kind of go from there. So I got a job as an analyst. Luckily enough, someone actually took the risk. Um, and I think it's because I just interviewed well. And then six months later, six months later, I got fired from that job anyway. So now I'm like, wow, well, I'm back where I started. Now what am I doing? Right? So this is really, that. that's the kind of person this course is really for. I want to, I kind of wanted to help myself that if at that time there was a course that kind of showed everything I'm about to show you, I think I would have done a lot better. It wouldn't have been so difficult. Like there would have been like a light at the end of the tunnel, right? So I started teaching uh, many, many years ago, probably around four, uh, five years ago, like properly. And I started off on Udemy. And today I have just shy of 200,000 students, you know, over 10,000, over, over 12,000 uh, reviews, multiple courses. And I started with doing Excel, but now I really just focus on, ta uh, focus on Tableau. Um, I also have a YouTube channel where if you guys have questions or issues or things that don't work, you can post up a question right and i'll do like a video tutorial or video solution to help everyone or you just simply get in touch with me by email which is what a lot of people do so that is basically me in a nutshell in terms of what i do here then i have what i do professionally so i work for one of the largest uh automotive manufacturing companies in a you can probably guess which one and there i am now a senior analyst and a senior insights consultant so basically what that means is when to departments or divisions have very complex problems that they they've tried to solve it and they can't solve it then they bring they bring me and they bring you know the, the big guns right and i go in i look at the issue fresh eyes and then i try and come up with a solution for them and i work with them and that's basically what i do um you know in summary that is who i am and we'll go on and cover the next topic so the next topic is really who is this course for right so what has brought you here a lot of the times um, when I'm filming or designing courses or designing Tableau or whatever, I'm always thinking of myself at that time when I got fired and I didn't know what to do and I was looking for guidance. And I really just couldn't find anything and I just had to kind of figure it out on my own. And I know a lot of people are going through, you know, very similar things, especially in 2020, 2021. Um, people are like losing jobs like crazy. Um, they've had to like upskill or they're changing industries or you've got young people who want to get into industry and you know they've got zero experience how do you get in there right or you want to upskill or you're already in a business and you want to kind of climb the corporate ranks whatever it might be kind of along those lines that's who this course is catered for so you're not just going to learn here's how you do a line chart here's how I do a bar chart you can learn that anywhere. You can go YouTube, you can ask your friend, whatever. You can learn that anywhere. 
What I'm going to teach you in this course is how do you actually succeed in the industry, right? How do you make a name for yourself? How, how do you climb the corporate ranks? How do you work with people? How do you manage your stakeholders? How do you build solutions, right? Tableau is just a tool that lets us do that. But at the core of being successful is all that other stuff. Tableau is like 20% of the kind of overall picture. The rest is how you utilize it. All right. So that is basically who this course is for. All right. Next, we're going to talk about job availability. So this is a big one. Um, you want to be able to obviously learn something if it means it's going to get you a job or it's going to bring you opportunities, right? You don't want to learn something if it's simply not practical, like it's not actually going to serve you, right? Or you're not going to be able to feed your family kind of storyline. So when I was, you know, looking for jobs in aerospace uh, engineering, there was almost no jobs in Australia. So I live in the south of Australia, um, in Victoria, and there's just there's just no industry there. So then you're kind of forced to switch over anyway. But then when I started getting into, you know, analytics and data and all that kind of stuff, there are so many jobs. It's like ridiculous, right? So I'm going to pick a few countries here. So if I pick Australia, all right, so let's just do Australia. Straight away, you got like 2,000. Let me just pick kind of my area. Right, 550 jobs straight away you can apply for. Now it sounds small, but you got to remember there are so many different types of analysts. Right, data analyst is just one of them. You got data analysts, you got business analysts, you got senior analysts, you got data scientists, you've got like programmers, you've got logistics, you've got all sorts of things. Right, and sometimes you have job descriptions that don't actually don't actually say analyst, but you need analyst skills. Right, I was speaking to a data science scientist like you know a few weeks ago. And basically, I said, you know, you've worked with lots of, com lots of companies, and what do you think of how they do their data? And they said, look, most of the companies these days, they're stitched together with Excel, which basically means almost every single division, every department, every business uses Excel or data in some form. The amount of demand for data people these days in the information age is just ridiculous. Like, you, there is no shortage of jobs. In fact, there's a shortage of analysts, right? So that's the kind of the gist of it. And, you know, we'll pick a few more here just so you can see. Let's try India, right? So 8,000, right? And if you look at other things, like let's go a bit broader, right? Oh, look at that, 50,000, 48,000. I think 500 was just added just then. So I did not plan that, right? So that is the job availability. And obviously this is just one platform. There's heaps of other platforms you can check on just how many jobs there are available. Okay, next we're going to talk about the actual pay, right? So this is a very big one. I know a lot of people ask this. If you are just starting off in the industry, so basically you have, you know, maybe you've got a degree, maybe you have some basic data skills, something like that. In Australia, in my experience and kind of when I talk to other people, they're probably going to get around 70-ish, right? 70,000. Um, when I started, it was closer to 50,000, actually, right? Um, 50,000. But typically when I hear it, and that's because I was so, so underqualified, but um, a lot of people, they get around, you know, 60, 70, 80 is probably kind of like you're reaching the ceiling for an average, like a starting analyst, um, you know, analyst, data analyst. But then once you become kind of a business analyst, you're probably thinking more around 75 to 90, 80 to, you know, around those lines, as you can see here. So Payscale is kind of a, a big website that says that. Um, if you look at, you know, senior business analysts, so this means sort of like five years plus, but the whole five year thing, we'll talk about much later on of how important five years actually, what that actually means. It doesn't actually mean five years. It just means the equivalent skill set. You can develop those skills in probably one year, right? If you take my course, but uh, if you are that good and you can develop yourself, there's no reason why you couldn't apply for, you know, um, jobs that have four years, five years experience. So 116,000 for a senior analyst is about right to me. Um, some of the guys I've spoken to and girls, they're probably sitting around 130, 140s, right? So they're like probably 10 years in, but there's also stories of people making 200,000, right? If you're that good, uh, and there's no reason why you couldn't be that good, just keep developing yourself. Um, and then if you get really, really good, then now we're talking about like data scientists. So data scientists, they're like the rock stars of the industry, right? They are like, you know, the highest paid, that is the top. They're probably anywhere from 170, 180 and above, sometimes higher, right? So there is massive opportunity uh, for everyone if you want to get into the IT space, but it's not just IT, but just in the data space, 
All right, so very exciting stuff. Okay, so that is it for the introduction. I'm not gonna do any more talking than that. What we're going to do next is get straight into Tableau.